Welcome back, guys. I'm in West Sacramento with Kim Lauder here. She is an autism teacher, and she also has created this business, a few of my favorite things, and that includes teacher swag, learning materials, resources, and all kinds of things for parents and kids heading into distance learning. I picked this up because I love it. I think one of the hardest things for us parents is picking a schedule for the kids and keeping them on it. The great thing about this one, as the day changes, as the week changes, so do the activities. This is so great. This is just one of the many things that Kim has come up with and you have all everything out on the table. Kim, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hi. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, your business here it really ties into what you do, but it applies to kids really of a lot of different ages. Yeah, uh, we have ages two to you know 10 years old, but this is a lot of stuff that we use in our classrooms and for behavior management. And I, I thought we'd have to bring it to the home for distance learning. So we have first thin boards, um, you know, first distance learning, then trampoline. You have a time timer. You have social stories that talk about what is distance learning. What am I supposed to do for distance learning? I have um, a couple of manipulative learning books. These are so much fun for parents to get. Um, they, you know, you can talk about colors, learn alphabets, numbers, shapes, everything. And what I really like about a lot of this is it's very visual. And I think that's the hard thing for kids right now. A lot of time in front of the screen, right? So for kids to really know how much time they have left to do certain things, there's a timer where they can visually look at it and see exactly how much time is left before they get to move on. And all of these books have mani manipulatives inside. Yes, they, you know, you need to show the, the child that there, there's an end to this. So. You have 10 minutes to do your distance learning and then we get lunch. It's going to be over. So the behaviors are decreased, the, the tantruming is decreased, and the moms and the dads and the parents at home can be happy. And one of the things that you also have here is how to Zoom and how to be online and some of those rules and etiquette, which a lot of these kids don't have experience with. Yeah, we started distance learning in the spring, you know, and it got really thrown on all the teachers. And now after the summer and having distance learning be a part of our fall, we're prepared now. So we need to learn how to do it because the kids don't know. They don't know to sit and look at the screen. They don't know that um, you have to talk and raise your hand and be quiet at certain times. So this is a really great visual, simple story that teaches kids how to, how to Zoom with their teacher. Kim, I love it. Where can people find you online? I have an Etsy, Etsy store and I have a website. So my website is fewofmyfavethings.com and then my Etsy store is brown paper packages. So fun. And the swag is there too. So swag. don't forget, you can't start the school here without the swag. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, thank <laughs> you so much, Lori. Thanks, Lori.